Hi, this is Nurse Carrie with Home Instead Senior Care. Today I'm going to show you how you can do exercise from your chair. It's very important for your overall health to move your muscles because that helps your blood get back up to your heart and lungs and brain. So, and also prevent blood clots and you just will feel better. Um, so if you're limited mobility, you're stuck in a chair or in bed, you can do these exercises in either location. Today I'm going to demonstrate in a chair. So you want to start with a goal of two to three times per day and work up to every commercial break doing these until you feel comfortable and you, you don't want to ex completely exhaust yourself but you want the benefit of exercise. So you can do just some simple leg lifts. You can do some ankle pumps and rotations. So the pumps is mimicking walking where your calf muscle, muscle is um, constricting or um, basically massaging your veins. So it's helping that blood to pump back up to your heart. If you cannot do this motion, you could use a gait belt you have lying around. They make actual leg lifters. Um, you could use a dog leash. You could use a jumping rope, whatever you have. But we have a gait belt, so that's what I'm going to use. So you want to use your arms to help raise your leg up and down if you can't do it yourself. Other things you want to do while you're sitting is with your upper body. If you have a cane, you could hold on to a cane. You could do some bice, some curls. You could bring your arms up. Depending on your mobility and your shoulders, you could move up as far as it's comfortable. If you can get all the way up, great. If not, that's fine. Do what you can. Another way to get some resistance is to use, well, we have a tea, um, like a, for hot water, whoops, for tea or coffee. So you can hold on to this. You can just raise it up. You can bring it in. Do it both hands. That gives you a little more resistance outside your body. If you want to try to get better shoulder mobility, you could take a flour sack towel, which everyone probably has in their house, or a handkerchief, and you could make big circles. So you take it and you're just going to focus on doing circles. That is helping the range of motion in your shoulder joint. Um, again, start slow. The goal is two to three times per day. And as, but every two weeks, you wanna to try to increase your activity level. So then say on starting on week three, you want to do this four times a day. Then maybe week five, five times a day. By week eight, you could be doing this literally eight to 10 times a day with the commercial breaks. Um, make sure you do what's comfortable for you. And if you are chair bound, make sure to elevate your legs two to three times a day for 30 minutes to help all that swelling get back up to your heart. So you're trying to give your heart a break, give your kidneys a break by doing some of these chair exercises and you will feel better as well. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned next week for another video brought to you by Home Instead Senior Care. And I really enjoy all your comments and sharing so together we can educate more people. Thank you.